Okay, good morning, folks. Afternoon, technically. So this is going to be a series of paintings, or a series of videos, excuse me, dealing with the start to finish of a new painting. Um, these are Shiva paint stick paintings. Um, so my general idea, this is in response, so this is a painting based on post-election, actually post-announcement of Biden winning the election um, down at the Capitol in Richmond. A very small group gathered in the uh, Stop the Steal protest. Um, so my sort of general idea, so I'm starting to lay out here, and I'll get into the mechanics here in a moment, are going to be three police officers, a photographer, um, this guy, I'm guessing counter protester that was carrying a plunger. Never did get take time to ask him why he was carrying a plunger. And then the two or three protesters and the guy with the megaphone that may also be this one gentleman who was a counter protester, kind of cheering up in his face. So as you saw, I first did this yellow square. Um, see, I've already made a change. And then I lay out in yellow paint stick sort of the general sketch. And there is no pre-sketch. Um, I tend not to do that. Actually, I don't tend not to, I don't. Um, might be a little bit of superstition, but basically I feel like for me, and this is only for me, if you're comfortable or feel the need to use a, um, a sketch to figure out some of your ideas, please do. I don't because I kind of feel like uh, for me, at least, uh, a lot of the decision making in which I would claim is a lot of the creativity happens in the decision making that happens in that sketch. And then for me personally, um, I feel like this painting becomes an illustration of the sketch, which is part of why. I choose not to um, pre-sketch. That, of course, means I end up moving things around, which is fine. Um, but it's just the way I work. It's the way that I find. So that's why I'm using the yellow oil stick to start, because that will, as I lay in the painting following this, the yellow will least pollute the colors that are going to follow. And this sketch, or this painting is based, like I said, on these protests uh, um, shortly after the announcement was made, the call was made for Biden, I felt like it would be fun, good idea, appropriate to go, it actually turned out to be my first bike ride post-surgery and um, pneumonia, but that's a story for another day. But like that would be a great time to get on the bike and ride around and revisit the uh, there's a little bit of the painting up there revisit the Lee monument which became the center this summer of Black Lives Matters protests in reaction to the killing of George Floyd and the subsequent 
battles that ensued with police. So that was very exciting. It was interesting. Um, as I did this, I went by the circle around the Lee Monument, which has been renamed the um, Marcus Davis Peters, um, Marcus David Peters Circle, in honor of who was actually a co-worker of mine who was killed by police a little over a year ago. He was having a drug-induced mental breakdown. So, sorry, I was also trying to think out where we go here. I need to check my image over here, which is, of course, gone away. And one of the things I was struck was, so after I went by the monument, very peaceful, relaxed, the most aggressive thing being done was the uh, playing of the rap song, F Donald Trump. You can fill in the other words, other word. But, um, then I went down by the Capitol, which is where this was taking place, and this group, like I said, of the don't you know, stop the steal, were all just ridiculously angry. <laughs> and it was like, okay. So that was me trying to figure out how things go here. Um, so as I'm working on a piece, I'll actually hold the position of the model slash character that I'm depicting. He is a little large. So when I get in trouble like this, I'll then move to the next color in the spectrum to figure out, to make changes. So here I'm opening. So this is the uh, what the packaging looks like on these paint sticks. I first started using them, they didn't have all this extra packaging plastic. At least the paper part's recyclable. They, I usually get rid of the paper cover as well. And then you kind of have to... So these sort of, as I had a chemistry student one point, once point out to me, they are uh, they congeal, they don't dry. But so you can see this is kind of dark as a little agent. But I'm just peeling the skin off. And this will rub away too as you work. But I like to start with a mark right away. So my problem is, while I have quite the scale of a mega horn, this needs a little more. Detail so it comes down, the bands on it, come down into the handheld part. So the scale in relationship to the police officers, the photographer who are actually closer to us, is wrong. So I want to come down. Let's give this guy his Trumpy hat. I did see a humorous post, post election that said, let's make uh, Red hat's wearable again. <laughs> so, actually didn't change the scale much, did I? So one way to alleviate that problem is like I have this cop right here double check whether they were wearing hats or not, or helmets.
So this group had such anger versus the joy that was going on. Yeah, I've decided to put in that counter for a tester. And I enjoy condensing everything, making it more, it's almost the image is more aggressive because it's all slammed together. And um, it's more urban. doing these guys in orange, but I am. So I'm not gonna have a lot of time to work today because shock of shocks, I actually go back to my job today after nine months. So this is not atypical amongst artists. I work in the restaurant industry And I've been furloughed for a long time. And then was also recovering. So it's been a bit of a challenge. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. Okay, so they're not wearing helmets or hats, which is sort of interesting. I mean, this is one of the things maybe smarter people than I have pointed it out, but um, the response that the police have had to these kind of protests to um, stop and steal or the uh, invasion, there's no other word for it of um, the state house in Michigan, the uh, lack of firepower, or riot gear, et cetera, the police used in protests like this versus Black Lives Matter protests was very conspicuous. deference to these folks. And even on this day, as I was leaving the area around the Lee Monument, the, um, there was about 10 or 15 bicycle cops riding up towards the area. Although I will say the police have been very good in closing the area off to vehicle and only vehicle traffic, cars, after some um, caravans came by. And the first time they came by, there was some violent exchanges between those Occupying is too long of strong of a word, but since the Black Lives Matter protest started, the Monument Circle, the grounds around there, having never been particularly um, occupied by people before, were visited. I mean, she, you know, 40 years, I've been here 50 years, no 40. Um, it's 
nobody was ever out on that square, except for a couple sunbathers and and on the day of the Easter parade. Let's just pull this guy down a little bit. So right now this piece is looking a lot like Crayola, but trust me, as we move along it will become a painting. Um, that's the thing with the paint sticks, they really are painting while you bake. Use them like a drawing media. They are categorically a painting. Okay. Now I'm gonna have some problems with that yellow, I mean that blue line later. But I have some problems with it right now. Because I don't like how this camera looks like she's taking a close up. Of his face. a little better. Didn't need to open that orange one. I found an orange one. Yeah, it's a purple one. It's not my blue one. Sometimes the uh, nubs It's a little hard to tell apart. The other thing was interesting when I first rolled up on the scene on my bicycle and I come around the corner I was like, oh, what's all that noise? Let's go see. There's a stick down here with nails in it that keeps sticking in my shoe. Um, and I was like, well, let's roll over there and see what's going on. And as I pulled up, it was kind of stood in front of me, kind of just looked hard at me. But there was a guy in plain clothes and when I looked down at his waist, he had a badge right here. I don't know what the badge was. He's dressed in jeans and a flannel shirt. Perhaps I'll work him into back here. Um, and he kind of looked at me and then I looked down and saw the badge and just kind of nodded like, okay, I see you. I know who you are. And I think he understood pretty quickly that I was simply there to see what was going on. I was out in my cycling clothes, not in any sort of ready to rumble riot kind of clothes. So also frequently in works, I will try to get an ongoing repetitive theme. And 
I see that happening here. I'm not sure how conscious it was when I started it, but we have the toilet plunger, God knows why, the camera lens, and the bullhorn as my repetitives in terms of shape. So, as you can see, I back up, take a moment, look at the piece, and try to decide if I like what I see, if I'm pleased with where it's going. You have to back up and take a look. Another trick is to flip the image. Um, I used to have a studio that had windows all the way around two sides of the studio, which were great and a problem. But they were nice for a mirror when you were working at night. So, let me see how long I've been working on this. So, pardon the cross camera. Um, and I'm going to.